Welcome back to the Casting of Rainstone. Since you're just joining me, shit is going down. Where is everyone? Oh man, nowhere good, Linda. Nowhere good. Locks. Mm -mm. Things we don't have keys for. Hello. Always need one of these. I wonder if that'll pop that lock. Hello, my darling Franklin Norman. Whoever's locker this was had some serious issues. It obsessed me when you don't write back. If you aren't sick, you needn't be withdrawn from me. Tell me everything, my dear. You know, whatever happens, I'll always be here for you. Nothing in all the world could ever stop me loving you. I'll always be in your life. Three weeks ago, you told me making friends was hard. I can sympathize, my love. Precious few are ever worth making. Every time they open their mouths, all you can feel is insects crawling over your skin. Every vapid look forces you to nod and smile and pretend we're listening to what they say. You're too important to be wasted on them, and one day you'll find that place I've always told you about where you can truly appreciate how much smaller they've always been. Until then we endure, but you do not become. Write back to me soon, Norman. I know you won't leave your ma waiting too long to hear from her only grandson again. I'll always watch you. Love, Ma. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if my mother fed me some bullshit like that about how I was above everybody, I'd probably be fucked up too. His mom gave him a god call. If I fix these boilers, that should shut off the leak. Sure. Missing parts. Gotta be around here someplace. Um, Those steam jets are gonna burn my face off. Yeah, they really fucking will.
Oh, utility closet? That would be the first place I would look for parts. Hmm. He's watching us. Not in that closet, you say. Okay. So maybe... See, why wouldn't you just move that shit so you have a clear path to that door? Do I go back over? Ah. Right. Well, let's find some parts for some um, steam engines, or steam tanks, rather. Confusion? I don't have to go even further back, do I? Maybe I do. Let's go find some parts. That's that same lock. But there's nothing back here, it's just the bathroom, isn't it? Unless it's in this room. Hmm. Chat. Surely it wouldn't be. Or it would. One to go. Hmm. Oh, get, get. It's definitely not in any of the toilets, is it? Okay. Not in any of this trash? No. Ah. Coming with me, buddy. But I'm not your buddy, guy. Does it? Because now you got overflow on the valve.
no, something fucked up is happening in the background. And I'm gonna need it to fucking relax, thank you. This is creaking like a ship. do anything that's not here in this fucking hellhole that's probably a grand fucking idea honestly That's definitely not going to be a bad idea. Oh, it will take us into the other room. Hello. to my controller just now. This is Frank Stone's journal. <clears throat> November 12th, 1962. So this is before the murders. I've not heard from her. I did as instructed, but not for weeks have I been left alone. Or, but four weeks I've been left alone, excuse me. Have I failed? Did I not perform my purpose as I was told? Five names I've taken, but I feel no closer to the path. Every night I dream of the forest, of the darkness all around me. I'm afraid, too scared to move forward or cry out because it stands beyond the fog. Sometimes I can see their shapeless forms writhing in the flames like snakes. The hiss of their screams burn my ears. If they're evil, why do they scream? I'm I to know evil alone. How can I be sure? All of Cedar Hills has not been lost to sin. Should I not just destroy them all, purge the town completely? I will not act without instruction. I stand alone in the forest, waiting to reach the other side. If I cry out, I will be lost. I will wait. Finally, she's come back to me, and she is happy. I've well exceeded her expectations. She says she's found the root of evil, 
the source of the rot that is eaten in the town. I sit beneath its very foundations. Our tester is the leader of a wicked coven. From him, the branches of evil stretch out and infect everything. But he's beyond my righteous judgment. Although he rots in a pit of hell, his spawns still linger here. DP, BK, LR, JR. Four names, four more trials I must conquer. She tells me not to rush. I cannot make a mistake. I will not fail. I will use the very fires that test a bird to carry on my task. I will turn his creation to the thing that destroys his legacy. I will pure it, purify it, as I will this town. <clears throat> Man and beast, metal and flesh, bound by fire. Then I'll reach the other side and see what it is to be eternal, to be divine. I know what it is to believe. Through the forest the path is clear, and the fire awaits me. I will not be afraid. Oh, fuck. Yeah. This is definitely a good idea. This, this place is so fucked. <clears throat> I, Dwight Allen Parker, write this as my last will and testament. The last time anybody saw me was 2-16-63. I'd spent the afternoon drinking with Rusty, Daryl, and a few other guys down at Cedar Creek. By the time it started getting dark, I was pretty wasted, and when Rusty tried to get me to move my butt, I got kind of mad and shoved him, which was dumb. Brother of I paid for it. Rusty got mad and left. So did the other guys. Guess they figured I'd sleep it off and find my own way home. I don't know how long I was asleep for, but when I woke up, the sky was there. A big, tall guy. It was real dark, but I'd still see him staring at me. Cold, mean eyes. Looking right through me. Holy mother of pearl. This is... This is awful. I think I'm underground. I hear noises above me. It sounds like machines, like a factory or something. I might be in the middle. I've seen the guy a few times. Those damn eyes staring at me. I hear him whispering stuff, but I don't know what he's saying. I think he's gonna kill me. I'm so scared, Mom. I wish I could see you again. I wasn't the greatest son, but you were always there for me. I couldn't have asked for you to be a better mom. Maybe you're better off without me. I don't know. If you ever read this letter, tell Rusty. I'm not mad at him. It was my fault. I was acting like a jackass. Same as always. Just know I'm sorry. For everything. I love you. Dwight A. Parker. What's up, Doc? What the hell are these things? Brilliant mind and broken psyche. Oh, back where I started? Okay, then. Open out. Here. The House of Madness. What is this? It's 
okay. It's okay. <gasps> You're not Bonnie? No, I, um... Bonnie was my mom. Did you know her? I think she would be confused. Your mom? But that's... How is that possible? You're talking about Bonnie Rivera, right? Yes, yeah, she was... She was just here, but we, we, we were... Uh. My mom died a few weeks ago. No. No. No, 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 no. We were in the mill. We were just shooting. We just finished the movie. What the hell? Oh, shit. So it didn't feel like time passed to her. Oh my god, there's this thing. It's, it's, it's trying to kill me. I don't know, but I get out from in between those rings. We can save Jaime. If there's any chance that's true, I, I gotta try. My friends are in terrible danger. I, I gotta get back to them, wherever they are. I'll help you. Why don't you climb back into the uh, chamber, whatever it is? I'll see if I can figure out these controls. Keep an eye out for any uh, interruptions. He's gonna fucking run. Okay, uh, is there a switch on that thing? Yeah, I see it. Okay, you should flip it. Ah, cranks! Try using that pole. You don't know if you're going to go back to yours or someone else's. her. All paths must cross. 